get loose from that arm. If my camera moves high enough, you guys who it is. So just twist it nice and easy, aside, aside. Make sure you're getting your hips involved. You're getting a full twist with your arms. You're just feeling good. It feels delightful. Because when it's gloomy outside, you gotta do Pilates, right? It was like this on Monday too, what the heck? We must need to do a double up workout today. No rest Wednesday. So go one more to each side. And then you're gonna go into just a high knee march, right? So it doesn't have to be fast. You just wanna to try to get up to at least your waistline, just so you can make sure you're getting those quads and hip flexors warmed up. Of course. And you're just marching, no big deal. March all day, probably. I know I could. I'll march in place with Franklin today. That'll be my job. So we're going to go about 10 more seconds here, and then we're going to go into butt kickers. So you can go one more to each leg, and then you'll go into butt kickers. So with those butt kickers, you can keep those arms loosening up just to make sure that you can keep your shoulders loose and you're opening up your chest, right? Because when you wake up in the morning, you're probably all stiff, especially when it's cold because you're like, oh, it's cold, right? So we got to move our arms and loosen up those shoulders. But it's not even that cold. It's, you know, it's like that nice fall breeze. You can just go outside with coat on, you're good to go. So we got about 10 more seconds here, and then we're going to go opposite arm, opposite leg. So we'll go one more to each side, and you got your arms up straight, legs are straight, you're going opposite arm, opposite leg. Just going side to side, nice and easy. You don't have to touch your toe or anything. You can just reach to like your knee, and that's fine too. Right? And just keeping your shoulders relaxed, feeling good, feeling great. All right? Yeah. So we got about 10 seconds here. And we're going to get those arms moving a little bit more. So we'll go about three more. Here's one, here's two, here's three. So we're going to do some forward arm circles. So just nice and easy forward. So I'm going to yawn for you. <sighs> That's just me deep breathing, obviously. And then you're gonna reverse. Nice and easy. Ah, uh, yeah. I think reverse always kind of hurts my shoulder. Those old shoulders, you know. Then you got door openers. So hands together, come wide and squeeze. Right, stretching out the chest, squeezing those shoulder blades, getting those muscles ready for some work today. We're gonna work them, right? Of course we are. We're gonna do five more. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. And then we're gonna have our knees just slightly bent, and you're gonna do an alternating tap. You're gonna tap with one and then the other. And you wanna just tap with your foot, you don't have to be super low, just enough that there's a soft bend in there, right? Because if you're doing this with straight legs, you're gonna look like you're in choir or something, right? So we wanna make sure you got a little attitude with it, okay? So keeping those knees bent. Tap the side, two, side, and just the toe. It doesn't have to be super fast, you're warming up. So save that energy for when we grab those dumbbells, okay? Got about 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna do a tap back, right? Just like to the side, but back, it's that easy. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna tap back, right? Tap back. You don't have to turn around, I just did so you can see my feet, okay? So same thing, you wanna have that soft bend. You're just gonna gently tap your toe back and in. It doesn't have to be a huge step, right? My leg's not going all the way straight. It's just enough to get the blood flowing and get the legs moving. Okay, so we got about 15 seconds here. And then we're gonna grab our dumbbells. We're gonna get rolling. Might as well get rolling for the day, right? We don't wanna waste too much time warming up. So you're gonna go five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna grab both weights. So if at any point on this one, if two weights feels like too much, you could just do one weight and hold in between your chest. So what you're gonna do here, we're gonna do a lot of multi motions here. You're gonna step forward, press your weights up, you'll come back, right? So notice I'm starting with a small step, right? So you can start with that small step too. It doesn't have to be huge. When you put that foot down, make sure you're bending your knee, right? And then as you get going, 
if you want to step out a little bit more, right, you can. Okay? So you would step wide and back, right? Step and back. Step and back, right? And you could even turn it in to a lunge, right? So you pick which variation you like, right? Just make sure you're able to do it and you can do it well, right? So if you're still doing the steps, that's fine, who cares, right? Your arms are gonna be burning, mine are torching. Okay, we have about 20 seconds left. Taking your time, focus on that bounce, right? So if you're doing lunges, you're gonna go a lot slower than if you're doing smaller steps. Okay, we got about one more each leg. Here's one, here's two, and relax. So now what you're gonna do, we're gonna do a step back and you're gonna do a hammer curl, okay? So you're gonna step back, curl your waist to your shoulder, and back, and you're gonna alternate those legs, right? Step and curl, step and curl, right? And the more you get going, the wider the step you can do, right? Stretch that leg back, see how far back you can step, right? And as you get going, you can lunge if you want, right? So you do a reverse lunge with it. But if that lunge doesn't feel good to you, don't do it, right? Do what you can. If lunge just hurts your knees or your hips, don't do it. But I think the lunge kind of feels better. Call me crazy, but I like me some lunges. And don't look at the camera as you step back, you'll fall over. I know from personal experience. Okay, you're doing great. We got about 20 seconds to go. Okay, keep hanging on. Nice and controlled. Right? Then it feels good. Those weights are getting heavy. Maybe, maybe you got arms of steel. I don't know. One more each leg. Here's one. Here's two. And relax. Okay. So now you're gonna have your left leg forward. Your right leg is gonna be back. You're gonna be in a hip hinge, right? And you're gonna do kickbacks. So press your hips back, stagger those feet so we mess with our balance, and we're kicking straight back. Okay, make sure you got a nice hinge, your hips are pressed, you're breathing. We got five more on this leg. Here's one, two, three, four, five, switch up those legs, right up, left back, hip hinge, kick back, okay? Nice and controlled, okay? Keep breathing, keep kicking, right? Feeling good, we got five more. Here's one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna relax it, right down for a second. Shake out your arms, and we're going back to the top. Right, we don't normally repeat, but today we are. So you got your forward step with your shoulder press, right? So you can start with that smaller step. If you want to, you can go into your lunge, right? And if you need one dumbbell this set, or if you need to go down liner, just drop a dumbbell and just do one, okay? Nice in control, right? Remember, it doesn't have to be a huge step, right? Small steps count too, right? Small steps are good. Okay, you're doing a great job. 20 seconds, oof, right? Oof, all kinds of variations, right? And remember, you don't have to do the lunge, right? The more you step forward, the harder it gets. Okay, so we're gonna do about three more. Here's one, two, and three. All right. So now you have your step back with a hammer curl. Okay, so you're gonna step back, hammer curl, and in. Okay, so build into it. Just tap back. If you're ready for that lunge, go for it, right? If you move slower at the lunge, that's okay. Right, it's still gonna work you. Nice and controlled pace. Okay, keep breathing, keep moving, right, you can do it, 
Heck yeah. Check me out. Okay, we got 20 seconds. Oh yeah. I'm getting winded now. That's a good thing, huh? All right, everybody needs that. We got about five more. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. There's four. There's five. Okay, split stance, kick back. Left leg's in front. Right leg somewhat behind, press those hips back. Make sure you got a bend in those knees. And we're kicking, okay? You're doing a great job. Five more, here's one, two, three, four, five. Switch those legs, right leg in front. Left leg behind, hinge and kick. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to ten. I just realized I was counting out loud. Three more. Here's one, two, and three. And you can relax. And we're going to go down to the mat. I'm just adjusting my camera here. No big deal. Okay. We're gonna have one dumbbell and we're gonna have it in our right hand. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna keep your right knee bent, left leg is up straight. You're gonna do a roll up. We're gonna press our right arm, kick our left leg up, okay? So you'll roll and press, right? If you can't quite roll up, that's fine. Just do a press and kick your leg up, okay? Go for it. So a curl and a kick. I forgot to kick my leg. Press and a kick. I don't know. You'd think I'd know my words. Okay, nice and controlled. Keep on moving. Got 15 seconds. And we switch sides. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Whoo! 10 pounds feels pretty good on this. One more. All right, switch it up. So left arm, right leg, curl. And press, curl and press. So I keep on saying curl instead of sit up and press. I'm losing it. Right, remember if you modify, you're just pressing and raising that leg, taking the sit up out of it. Okay, it's still gonna work you. It's still functional. Okay, you're doing a great job. We've got about 10 seconds to go. Right, we'll do three more. Here's one. Here's two. Here is three and you're gonna relax so now you're gonna have both dumbbells and we're gonna do some triceps mixed with core bracing okay so if you can you're gonna have both legs up straight and you would have both arms up straight so as your legs go down you would come down into a tricep and then extend back up if you modify one foot is down and you're doing that same exact motion okay ready and go so exhale, come down, inhale, come back. Don't feel like your legs or leg have to go down very far, right? Pay attention to your back. Of course, pay attention to those weights, right? Just nice and controlled. Nice and controlled. Okay, you're doing a great job. Keep on breathing. Trying to go as large range of motion as you can. Right, if you're only doing one leg at a time, that's fine. Just remember, because we're going to repeat. Okay, we got 15 seconds. Nice and controlled. If you needed one dumbbell, that's fine. You can do the same thing with just one, right? Your arms are going to be tired today. Mine might be. I don't know. I got arms of steel, though. Okay, we're going to do two more. Here's one. Coming up. Here's two. Coming up. And you're going to relax. And we gotta do a bridge, right? We haven't done a bridge yet. Okay, so we're gonna be up in our bridge. You're gonna have your weights up, the weights are together. You're coming down to your chest and then back up. So you're pushing your weights together and pressing up and back, right? I started out kind of cool, now I'm really sweaty, okay? Nice and controlled, make sure you're squeezing those glutes. If your back was really sore today, take that bridge out. Just focus on your core and those weights. Okay, we got 10 more. Here's one, coming up, two, up, 
three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, two more, nine, and up, ten, and relax, and back to the top. Okay, so shake out your hands for a second. So we got right arm, left leg is out straight. So this is where we're pressing, right? We're rolling up, pressing, and lifting that leg, right? If you're modifying, you're not gonna add the sit up to it. If you're not modifying, you're pressing and lifting. Okay, go ahead and go on into it. If you wanted to even use your left arm to help you balance and sit up a little bit, you could, right? We do a move like that all the time. It's not gonna make it any easier but it will support you a little bit. It makes it maybe like 10% easier, right? I'm doing it. So if you do it, don't feel like you're cheating yourself, right? So you got 10 seconds left. Keep on rocking. We're gonna do two more. Here's one, here's two. All right, left arm, right leg, right? So remember, I'm using my right arm to help me roll up because my left side's a little bit weaker. Ready, and go, right? And we're lifting. And back. Lift in and back. Remember, if you're modifying, you're not sitting up with it. You're just pressing and kicking that leg. Okay? You're doing a great job. We got about 15 seconds. Yuckers. Okay, we got two more. Here's one. Here's two. All right. Both dumbbells, we've got our core bracing with our tricep, right? So we got both arms up straight, right? Both legs up straight, unless you're modifying, weights come down, legs come down, you extend up and squeeze. Slow and control is what we want here, right? I don't want you doing some wacky move where your feet are touching the floor at all, okay? I'm not coming down close to the floor and I'm still getting a great workout. Right, if you're getting close to the floor, that's fine. I could go close to the floor too, but I'm not gonna, because I am gonna maintain. Right, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. This is a burner. Oh goodness. Oh yeah. Doing a great job, We've got 15 seconds. This one's a little harder to talk to. Right, I don't wanna hit myself in the head. Nice and controlled. We got about 10. Seconds, right? We're gonna do three more. Here's one, coming up, two, coming up, three, coming up, and relax. All right, we're finishing up, and our bridge weights are together, ready? Weights are up, hips are up, squeeze those weights together, you're coming down and up, down and up down and up so when those weights come down your elbows are close to your sides you're squeezing those glutes right you're breathing well of course you're breathing i hope right nice and controlled keep those weights as close together as you can they're like magnets they're not coming apart okay keep on breathing you're almost there okay 15 seconds to go stay up high in that bridge Hang on to that move, keep pressing. We got five more. Here's down one, up, there's one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five. You can relax, right? And then we are. Nice quick burn to say goodbye to your arms, maybe. <laughs> 